uh, video is to give a brief introduction to the 74C164 serial shift register. <coughs> this is simply used to clock data in over a single data line being used with a clock line or as I say two connections to a microcontroller to control 816 or whatever number of uh, outputs you want. It's a cheap inexpensive part and this is just going to go over the internals and the rest of the video should show you how it's being used. Here's a basic breakout of the 16 pin device excuse me this is a 14 pin device it has eight outputs the two inputs are essentially the same you have a clock and you have a clear you have a ground and you have a VCC in the case of this uh, 74 C 164 it will operate up to 15 volts I generally assume 5 volts here is a more detailed block diagram it consists of uh, eight D flip-flops connected in series it has eight outputs from the flip-flops it has a clear it has an AND gate for two signal inputs they're generally I use them to just connect them together and then we have a clock input I believe this is a positive edge triggered device here's a little closer detail to your input again you, yep you have a positive going pulse you have your two serial inputs I generally connect them together and you have to go uh, low to clear all the data from the eight flip-flops now you have to leave it tied off to high when you're normally clocking in data or it just won't work if you leave it low you're just locking out everything Here is pictured a, what is called a seven segment display. It has segments uh, A through G plus a decimal point. What this simply means is we have eight LEDs forming the shape of an eight and a decimal point. There are different ways to connect LEDs um, to a shift register such as the one we uh, see here this is one configuration this is what this would be called a common cathode we just tie the cathode to ground and we connect the eight LEDs that is A through G plus decimal point to the outputs this is called a common anode display um, this would be um, you tie all the anodes to uh, VCC and you have the uh, outputs of the shift register go to the eight individual LEDs through the current limiting resistors the only difference between the two connections is the polarity of the bits to get an LED to light up on the first, on the previous, it would have to, on a common cathode the way we had it set up, it would have to be a high or a one. But in this configuration, an output would have to be zero to light up the LED, the, the individual LED. Remember, it's the bit polarity. So in a common anode, a zero will light up the appropriate LED. this is a little different here we are using a switching transistor in this case a PNP which is going to be connected to one digital output pin when the pin is low it will enable you to light up the appropriate LEDs which also have to be connected through the shift register outputs to a low what this is good for is you can hook up a number of 
say, common anode LED displays, each set of anodes with their own independent transistor, where you could connect the LEDs A through G plus decimal point could be connected in parallel to each other and, and in a sequence we could switch the individual display on and off. Here we have the same thing for a common cathode display and a high out on Q1 will switch on the particular array. This enables you again to multiplex uh, numerous LED displays that might be connected in parallel and select the individual display. Here is a typical connection, either though this is drawn to be connected to a microchip PIC, it works exactly the same way if it's an Arduino, if it's a um, pickaxe, or whatever. You have a clock, you have a master clear, and you have a data in. Data in over here, that's your master clear, which when you're operating you want to leave tied off to high. Or you could just connect it directly to VCC, and this is your clock. Okay, and here is, um, now let's go ahead and see uh, one of these registers being used to uh, count in binary. And in a separate video, we'll show you how to use an LED display itself. Okay, picture here is my... Uh, earlier proto board with the 74C164 serial to parallel converter. It's still connected to the LEDs, but in this case, I've connected this to a microchip PIC. It's a 16F84A that I have programmed to input serial data into the uh, above chip and LED array to uh, it's going to look like you're just counting in binary from right to left. Before I power it up we're going to go ahead and zoom in on the LEDs. In this case, it's going to be counting in binary from right to left. It's going to be clocked in so fast that you won't see the slow crawl that you saw earlier when I was doing it with manual switches. Well, let's see what it looks like. And I'm managing to control all of these LEDs with two lines. Um, and I have the exact same code for an Arduino as I do a microchip PIC. Um, the only difference is, is the microchip PIC I've been using is programmed in assembly. Uh, and while somewhat more difficult to program than I suppose the C used in Arduino, the code is much more efficient and runs faster. And in many ways, the uh, microchip picks are somewhat easier to hook up than Arduino, but they all have their advantages and disadvantages, and you'll see it'll go all the way to zero and start over. Like I said, if you could look close enough, you can barely see the LEDs that are off. You would see a real brief, almost imperceptible flash either though the data is being clocked in from uh, left to right, the LEDs are counting from right to left. It doesn't matter. All I have to do is change a slight bit of the coding 
and I could have it counting from uh, left to right instead of right to left. Or I could have um, put in a binary pattern, for example, if I chose to, with uh, the LEDs being uh, bits being completely inverted. You would see the binary pattern in the LEDs that are off, and they would gradually um, all come on. They would do the exact opposite pattern here. That's the great part of this. You can alter the uh, bit patterns any way you want to. In this case, we have a simple binary pattern. But what if we could do something a little bit better with this pattern? Um, what if we could hook up an LED display? An LED display is nothing more than a collection of eight LEDs that form an eight and a decimal point. Let's find out if that will work.